Shalom, giving all praise to the Heavenly Father, Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem Rachahakorash. Double honors to the apostles and elders at Great Millstone who rule well. And as always, we give peace and salutations unto the elect. And I just wanted to briefly speak on this article that was sent to me um, to show you the hypocrisy of Babylon the Great, all right? Which we know in the scriptures, Babylon the Great would be a place of great rebellion against the Heavenly Father and His Son, whose Hebrew names are Yahweh and Yahweh Shai, okay? A great rebellion would be led in the latter days by a particular great city, all right? which is Babylon the Great, and America is nothing but a big-ass city, okay? And, it, and, it, and, it, and when you look at the ways of America, Babylon the Great, okay, it's clearly anti-Messiah, and this is more proof here. Now, all of these people are demons, including this Barrett character, but I'm just bringing this out to make a quick point. It says, Barrett tied to faith group ex-members say subjugates women. All right. Now it says President Donald Trump's nominee for the U.S. Supreme Court has close ties to a charismatic Christian religious group that holds men are divinely ordained as the head of the family and faith. Now, when you go into the scriptures, which America, all right, their presidents swear in on the Bible, right? OK, they, the, 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 they, they parade themselves around the earth as this Bible believing Christian all right, uh, country, and what we're finding out, and we've been known, that that's, that, that's a damn lie, man, because this lady is being scrutinized, all right, for being a part of a group that holds men as the head, all right, of the family and faith, all right, it says, former members of the group called People of Praise says it teaches that wives must submit to the will of their husbands, all right, and we know that's 100% against the will of Babylon the Great. Because if you look at the policies that America pushes, it's all anti-Messiah, and it's all against the order of the Heavenly Father, which says the head of the Messiah is Yahweh, the head of man is the Messiah, Yahweh Shai, and the head of man, all right, all right, and the head of woman is the man. You see, that's what the scriptures say. The head of man is Yahweh Shai, and the head of woman is the man. So men were ordained to be the head, okay, which leads to order, which leads to family structure, which this place is against. It's against everything that Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai stands for. That's why the scriptures say, all right, this, this place will be spiritually called Sodom in Egypt, where also our Lord was crucified, not only all right, is his image crucified, but his ways are crucified. His vibration is crucified. Manhood is crucified. Family structure is crucified. Okay, because when you get the scriptures, it tells you that the energy that is, that, that, that is pushed by this place, which follow in the ways of Canaan, which is why you have abortions all over the damn place, Okay, uh, uh, going back to the ways of Sumeria and Babylon are all anti-Messiah. This is Wisdom of Solomon 14 and 22. Moreover, this was not enough for them that they erred in the knowledge of God. But whereas they lived in a great war of ignorance, those so great plagues called a peace. And look at the great plagues on the earth. Look at what's happening. Look at the, 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 the vibration that's going on. Look at the condition of the people. Yet they're still talking about voting. If you saw that uh, that uh, debate between Trump and Biden last night, you could clearly see that these people are finished. They're lying, and that this is it's just a big joke, man. And the only thing that's being forwarded, okay, and that they're gonna uh, come with is the New World Order and Edomite supremacy. All right, that's the only thing that really was talked about. They don't. They, at the end of the day. All right, yeah, there was more talked about, but it was, it was all a sham. It's all a joke, man. It's like WWE, man. Okay? And you saw that Trump, okay, uh, uh, would, he, he, he would not condemn these uh, Edomite supremacy groups. Okay? But he called out Antifa in the left. Now, who, at the end of the day, is that truly targeting? 
you so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans because BLM is tied to Antifa. They just didn't want to say it openly. All right? But these Edomite militia groups and all of that are preparing for war. Okay? Meanwhile, you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans are, are, are lollygagging, pussyfooting, all right, talking about you're going to vote for Biden and all of these various different things. Hold on, let me see. Looking a damn fool, man. Let's see here. It says, In these great plagues called a peace, Salaki, it says, For while as they slew their children in sacrifices or use secret ceremonies or made revelings in strange rites. And this is what the powers that be do. This is what Trump is uh, is a part of. This and they're all puppets. Okay, they're all puppets, man. They they, you know, they're just faces. And here it is in 2020. These are your two. This is what our people mainly are the ones vote. You gotta vote. Goddamn Trump and Biden, man. We're at the end of this thing, man. This place is getting ready to be destroyed, man. But this is what the higher-ups and elites are being outed to be truly about. But they're sweeping it under the rug and throwing all of these different lies in your face. For while they slew their children in sacrifices, and this is speaking of the Canaanites, but this is the same vibration that's here today in Babylon the Great. Or made revelings of strange rites, they kept neither lives nor marriages any longer undefiled. Okay? Marriages and lives are... Severely defiled in Babylon the Great, man. Okay? But either one slew another traitorously or grieved him by adultery. That's ultimately the, the vibration that's being pushed. So that their reign in all men, without exception, blood, manslaughter, theft, dissimulation, corruption, unfaithfulness, tumults, perjury, disquieting of good men. If you If you stand up for righteousness... Okay, they try to quiet you. They try to silence you. Forget, forgetfulness of good terms, the fouling of souls, changing of kind. And changing of kind goes into a big movement that is being pushed here in Babylon the Great. Okay, with the trans thing, man. Disorder in marriages. That's what they want. They want disorder in marriages. If you promote disorder in marriage, like WAP, then you're, you're put on the forefront as this great... All right, a uh, uh, being who needs to be awarded. And when you listen at the lyrics at that WAP song, what does it say? I'm not cooking, I'm not cleaning. I let a girl eat me out. I do this. I'm a, you know, I'm gonna do this. And, they, and and it's just a bunch of confusion. That's where they want you all at, man. And I'm gonna get back to that article in a minute. But there you go. It says they want disorder in marriages, adultery, and shameless uncleanliness, man. That's the vibration that this Edomite wants in the earth, man. And they hide behind this Christian thing, right? For the worship of idols, not to be named is the beginning, the cause, and the end of all evil. Now, going back to this article to show you how hip hypocrisy and how hypocritical this Edomite is and all in America is, it says... President Donald Trump's nominee for the U.S. Supreme Court has close ties to a charismatic Christian religious group that holds men are divinely ordained as the head of the family and faith. And she's being scrutinized for this. Remember, former members of the group called People of Praise says it teaches that wives must submit to the will of their husbands. Okay. Now it goes into a little bit of history about this Barrett character, which she's a demon. All of them are demons, but I'm just bringing this out for a particular point. Um, it goes into the beliefs. People will praise they believe uh, that Jesus, the baptism, the Holy Spirit, all of that madness. It says Barrett's affiliation with the conservative religious group that elevates the role of man has drawn particular scrutiny given that she would be filling the high court seat held by Justice Ruth Barber Ginsburg, a feminist icon who spent her legal career fighting for women to have full equality. And the whole feminist thing started, all right, 
by a uh, a mo, okay, uh, uh, a Edomite mo, okay. She eats car. She ate carpet. Um, she basically it started out as women wanting rights to vote and women wanting rights to work, and they got that and more. You see, they got that and more, and they're still marching and crying and screaming, walking around, musty, with hair coming out their, their armpits, beer on their breath, marching and screaming. It's like, what more do you want? Okay, what more do you want? Do you just want to grow a rod? Goodness gracious. But see, the, the, this, this uh, Justice Ruth Barber Ginsburg, who sat in this seat, Okay, uh, as the Supreme Court, uh, not many for, forget the role. She was a she was a a feminist, right? So now that a lady who believes that men should be the head, and that has seven children, and that believes in Jesus is getting put in the role, they're scared that she's going to use her ideology and her religious beliefs to uphold men. See, when a woman was in there that would uphold the rights of women and feminism and all of that, it was cool. But now that a woman who believes in the Bible, so-called, and it's all BS, we know, that believes her husband should be the head is there, now it's a problem. <laughs> all right? It says, Barrett's affiliation with the conservative religion group that elevates her role at of men has drawn particular scrutiny given that she would be filling the high court seat held by Justice Ruth Barber Ginsburg, a feminist icon who spent her legal career fighting for women to have full equality. And they've gotten that and more. All right, as the scriptures say, the woman has compassed the man. Barrett, by contrast, is being held by religious conservatives as a ideological heir. To the late Justice Antonin Scalia, a staunch abortion rights opponent for whom she clerked as a young lawyer. <laughs> and we know that this place is all for abortion, man, which that's anti-Messiah. Okay, in accepting Trump's nomination Saturday, the Catholic mother of seven said she shares Scalia's judicial Philosophy. Now, here it is. She believes in the Bible and she's this big Christian, but she openly supports, okay, uh, 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 abortions, man. It said, a judge must apply the laws as written, Barrett said. Judges are not policy makers and they must be resolute in setting aside any policy views they might hold. So this is the problem. They're saying basically since she believes in men being ahead and all of this that she'll get into that position and uphold her religious beliefs and her uh, uh, judgment <laughs> but here it is the, the 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 presidents of the United States swearing on the Bible and leave the whole code and vibration of the Bible behind when they judge man because this is a hypocritical state man Barrett's advocates are trying to frame questions about her involvement in people of praise, anti-Catholic bigotry ahead of her upcoming Senate nomination hearings. It says, uh, should be examined. It says, some people, let me read this. It says, acts about people of praise in a televised interview last week. Vice President Mike Pence responded, the intolerance expressed during her last confirm confirmation about her Catholic faith, I really think was a disservice to the process and a disappointment to the millions of Americans. But some people familiar with the group and charismatic religious group, um, like it says, Barrett's involvement should be examined before she received a lifelong appointment in the highest court in the nation. It's not about the faith, says Massimo Fagioli, a theology professor at Villanova University, 
who has studied similar groups, he says a typical feature of charismatic groups is the dynamic of a strong hierarchical leadership and a strict view of relationship between men and women. All right. So this this lady is being scrutinized for believing what the what the so-called believing what the Bible says, man. And now they're researching it. They're going to old members and interviewing them, and they're saying, "Well, you know, the the the, the men dictate everything. The life choices of the this and this and that, and it's this and it was bad." Showing you that this is all hypocritical, man. <laughs> This is um, Job 20 and 5. That the triumphing of the wicked is short and the joy of the hypocrite but for a moment. And this is that hypocritical uh, 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 kingdom that will rule in the latter days. Now, what, what was I looking for? Oh, let's get the book of Zechariah, the fifth chapter, man. And this is why those chariots are showing up, man. This is why those chariots are showing up, man. Because this is a, this place swears falsely, man. This place ain't about the Bible, man. The scriptures say, "He that uh, 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 turn it from evil maketh himself a prey." And this is, you know, and these are all demons. But this is what you know, basically, what this situation is. When it was a feminist sitting on that seat, you had no issues with her judging. According to her, because you know that these judges love to destroy men. When you look at the judgments they put forth, when you look at, you know, the things that are done to men and the policies, it's all anti for the man to move forward or have any comfort, man. Right. But now that a woman is getting ready to be put in that position who thinks men should be the head now is scrutiny coming. This is Zechariah chapter five. Speaking of these chariots, man. And three, then said he unto me, this is the curse that goeth forth over the earth, those flying rolls that Zechariah saw. For everyone that still it shall be cut off as on this side, according to it, and everyone that swear it shall be cut off on that side, according to it, man. Okay. And I will bring it forth, said the Lord of hosts, and it shall enter into the house of the thief, into the house of him that sweareth falsely by my name. As the scriptures say, to the wicked. Is that Psalms 55? Psalms 50 and 16. But unto the wicked, God said, What hast thou to do to declare my statues? That thou shouldest take my covenant in thy mouth. And here it is, these Edomites. Hold up. Here it is, these Edomites are all talking about the covenants and the Bible and this and this and that. But they don't uphold the righteousness of it. And they judge according to the spiritual demon Satan, man. Okay, so the Most High said, what is thou to do to declare my statues that thou shouldest take my covenant within thy mouth like vocab Malone? Here it is. He, he's an authority on the covenants. But when you read into what this man is all about, what is he about? Anti-Messiah, man. He's talking about this whole, uh, 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 you know, the, the, the seed of Abraham, Isaac and Jacob is wiped off and now only believers in Jesus are heirs to that land, heirs to the promise, man. So all you Edomites are being exposed and it's clear as day that you are the seed of Satan, man. I got to roll out. Shalom.